Good day, YouTubers. This is Wednesday the 11th of May. Hallelujah. 20-something degrees out. And we do this once a year, so I said, what a better time to get a video of the old bikes that I put on there on set for sale and uh, restoration jobs. So I had to do an update on the 2000, uh, 2002 and a I don't know, base job, side cover job on our 84. Anyway, I'll show you that now in a second. It was always nice to get out this time of year, boy, and get all the old clothes off, put away the screw suits, and clean out the old garage. That's what's left to our couple of the generators. We got two left. Might keep that little small one on the right. But we're probably done up, I don't know, six or seven then the winter. Put the rings in there. And there's the remnants. Three boxes of parts. The other one is uh, old XR parts. And we got some extra runners we sold for to make another sled, probably. Bill's Mill project. Yeah, let's go out and have a look at the old Honda's collections. Got the old High Rock Gold Camaro 89. Got her all fired up. Drove that down from Scarborough probably 20 years ago, I guess. Looks like the charm. Had a little bit of a computer trouble there, and the, but that's a video on that with the bat system. Electrical issue, but nothing serious. Look at a new computer. Ready to go for another year. Don't use it very much, but. And there's the recent. Uh, Item to add to our collection. That's the workhorse. Our 2021 slash 2022 Viking. Two and a half inch lift, 27 inch tires. Added a winch. Windshield, glass windshield, hard top, soft back windshield. Other console, rubber mats, and what else? Uh, rear cargo box is awesome. Put your axe and your tools and your booster, battery booster. Come stock with a rear mat. So before it got too nice, we took the mat and added a bed liner kit. Rolled in. Got some stainless steel bolts here. So then it gets down in their threads. Yeah. Not to go on a tangent or anything, but that's uh, picked up this SXV probably about two days ago. Less than 200, uh, less than 2,000 kilometers, sorry. 600, three cylinder redhead. A little bit disappointed. But the track was a because the track was a little bit uh, rough shape. That's it. We were buying stuff on the blind. She was delivered. A few lugs tore off. Well, we got a track lined up. No worries. And there's the vintage Hondas. And I don't know if there's bad luck or not, but we got a Yamaha stuck in there. XT. And the old Kodiak is out there. That's the one that we we'll plows our snow with. Let's say yeah, the winch on that too. Four new tires. The tires on that now is actually the ones that come off side by side. 25 inch. We went with 27s. And just the one that hauls all of our wood, plows our snow. And everything else you might dream of. All right, I guess we'll start from the from the oldest. This one I mentioned before, we had to do, uh, that one's pretty much rebuilt, 100%. That's an 84. And the XR200, they only made that stall, that engine, RFVC, 84 and 85. 
like I say, they're pretty much gone right through that engine. I just put the uh, just put the side cover on, has split the base, checked all the gears and cam and rollers and all of that stuff. Everything was fine. Put a sticker kit on, also original sticker kit. And I don't know how much stuff our stuff. Got the headlight tail light all working, that's a six volt system, so it was a little bit uh, difficult to get the bulbs and the wiring and stuff, but it's all tickety boo. I added a kill switch. Eighty four, so moving up to our eighty six. Now this one is one that I've had for probably thirty years. I'm gonna say at least twenty five. That was probably the second bike that I had. First bike was an XR100. That one's rebuilt right from the ground up. Everything in that base, clutches, bearings, pistons, rings, timing chain sprockets, stem seals, all the gaskets, fork boots, chains and sprockets, tires, brakes. So that's a little bit of sentimental value to that. I actually got registration to that somewhere. Once again she works like the charm. No smoke at all from either one of these. Sometimes you can rebuild the engine all you want. Do all your valve, all your clearances, check your rings and your gaps. But you always get a little bit of smoke from. And this one was the one we done up for April. My wife was going to try to learn. She did learn, she took it for one ride, she's done great, but uh, once again, that one is gone, done right through. Rings, timing chain, timing chain sprockets, gaskets, valve, I put an exhaust valve in that one. Stem seals, front and rear brakes, there's a brand new back tire and red to on it. And she had the headlight and tail light kit. The harness was updated, but she never had a headlight tail light, so I went on Amazon. Got a nifty little tail light. And we stuck a light bar in there. Fit right in there. Perfect. I put a switch on because you don't want the light bar going. I think the switch is on this side. Yeah, the switch is in here. Tucked away. As you guys know that the factory headlights on the machines are not very bright. Just notice the difference now in the in the older bike compared to the newer ones. That's a 2001 actually. No, it's a 2000. Anyway, and they kind of cheaped out and put the smaller forks on them. The back shocks on them are horrible. Actually, that one is uh, probably the only one I've seen that's not leaked out. Motors are the same, but everything else just downsized. I think what they done cheaped out. Now, the only thing about these other ones, the '86 especially, was the year with the weak kickstart gear. That one do skip a little bit, but like say she was like it for twenty something years. You just got to kick it over until she catches and pistons up, and then kick her over and way to go. And this is a project we finished probably about a month ago. This is a 2002 XR 250. The only 250 in the group. That one wasn't so much of a restoration. It was like a just an update. Shock boots, front front pads, front bearings, rear bearings. Yeah, sticker kit. The little Honda bag on the back. This was a gap during the between the tail light and the seat. Brand new chains sprockets on it. The harness was all messed up for the headlight and tail light. It was actually wired backwards. So we fixed all that. Added the bulbs. Well, you see the previous video now. We uh, added a stand. Had to weld the bracket on. There was actually a bracket there before, but it was uh, the stand was tucked right up under the machine. And that works like the fiddle. And we got to add an ATC. 
We also should have had that one up the other end, but that's the 84. That was restored in 2017, and it is pretty much 2017. Because there was every bearing, bushing, everything rubbed around, all the hoses, lines. There was a couple collars missing in the base that separates the combustion chamber from the from the gear off. And that had to come from Finland. Every part and piece of the engine took down, every bolt replaced, engine bolt. All that was blasted, repainted through a three step process. Inside covers. I had never had much luck getting the original Passion Red, so I went with this uh, as a candy color. It was a new updated to something new. So I took a chance on it and it actually turned out great. She's all original, like in regards to there's no modifications. Original jug, original exhaust. Original muffler. Extended axle. And of course, aftermarket rims. I had rims, but they were uh, dented and tore up, of course. We had the red double ring chain. Pretty dirty there now, but. Blue coil shock, rear shock. Oh, front and rear brakes, all the hoses, lines, master cylinders, bearings, carriers. Right on through. Checked every gear. Every gear was took out of that base. Checked, measured, bearings, collars, washers, shims. The grab bar. That's not original. But that's real convenient. Full taper bars. Front and rear headlight. Or headlight tail light. Well, that is a bit of fun, that machine, I'm going to guarantee you. And over to the dual purpose, had to stick the dual purpose in here. That's our XT350, I'm not sure, I think it's a 98. I need to get a license again. That is a 98. Everything works, signal lights. Never done much with that one. We acquired that last fall, last winter. Have to change the oil in there now. <laughs> no electric start on that one, just kick start. Put a back sprocket on her. And there's a new tire for that one in the garage. But we're gonna wear that one out first. Yeah, just figured to do a little video while we got them all out here. We're actually missing four ATCs. We got two at the cottage, and grandfather's the original one he bought in '84. There's two '84s down the down the cabin, and there's another one up at our remote cottage. There's an '84 also, downshift, and we got a big red '83 uh, big red. No, sorry, it's 84, big grid. Across the river up there. High low and reverse shaft drive. Now she's rough shape, but. So that's the four that's missing. This one is currently for sale. Our 250. And these two here, this XR and the 84 on the outside. Are, they're sold, but they're not this pending, I guess. Not picked up yet. Gotta pay some bills. Pay for that machine over there. All these machines there, not, not a fraction of what that cost. It's kind of foolish when you think about it. But there's the vintage Hondas. I had a few more over the years. Them CRFs. Uh, anybody's listening, and if anybody owned them, they know. They're not half so comfortable, and they're not half the machine. It's in pre, say pre-2000, pre-96 Hondas. Absolutely bulletproof, comfortable, lots of power, from what, you know, from what you'd expect. 
but that's the Cadillac there. That's a real nice bike. Somebody was doing some serious off-road. It's not too heavy. And it's got a bit of power and it's a lot higher. I think it's like three, three or four inches higher from the seat level than the 200s. Yeah, well, I hope you enjoyed the video. Just a little quick one to add to our Yamahas. We gotta get the Yamahas in there. Here's our wood horse. Enticer 2 Yamaha. And in the woodshed is our Viking. Put less than 100 kilometers on that one. BK540. So, with the price of gas, I think we're going to have to dig a hole and bury the works. That's one thing you can afford to use here, though. Lawnmower. Drivable lawnmower. Yeah, hope everybody's doing good. We've done a video now for a while. Hopefully this one uh, self-explains the next two videos for the crew projects coming up. Beautiful weather. Anyway, over and out.